Hi, I'm Tom from the LSI Garage. Today we have a 2016 F250 Super Duty in here with the 6.7 Power Stroke. I'll show you how to change the fuel filters. Got the one that goes underneath the body on the driver's side, then the one that goes underneath the hood. Got 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and a 10 millimeter wrench, and an O-ring pick. I'll show you how to do that step-by-step -step process and how to bleed the system. Let's get to it. Okay, we'll take our 10 millimeter wrench, backside eight on the front, pull the rack down out of the way for the fuel filter. It's kind of a safety to keep it so it will never unscrew on you. Water and fuel sensor, unplug it. And we're gonna drain the sediment bowl out. Turn the yellow knob out until it runs fuel out. I'm gonna let all the fuel run out of it. Okay, we're gonna take our 32 millimeter socket, break the filter loose. Just unscrew it, it's all plastic. old cartridge just pulls out there's a little receiver groove down here for the your filter to go in this piece right here will clip right in there make sure you don't have any dirt or any sediment in there this one here is very clean I have an o-ring up here I want to always change the o-rings comes with the filter Put a little fuel on it. Roll it back up into place. Got a little groove up there for it to go in. New filter put into place. Make sure you tighten it up by hand as far as you can. Like I said, this is plastic, so you gotta be a little careful with it. Once it starts to come around on the O-ring, and it'll, it stops, it's a positive stop. You'll feel it. Put your water and fuel sensor back on. Bracket goes back into place. your drain is closed. Wipe everything down with a rag. Now we're going to let the truck down and change the filter up in the engine compartment. Okay, we're gonna change our secondary fuel filter back here on the right side of the motor as I'm looking at it. There's two white clips right here you gotta squeeze in on the back and it's a quick connect. Pull that out. This one here, blue one, you slide it forward and push it down on the bottom. It pops off. twist counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn and then it slides out the new one drops in place turns and locks it's got a positive stop on it you'll feel it click in place and the fuel line just go back on you can hear them snap in place this one here the front one the blue one you want to push up on your finger Make sure it clips in. 
that's all there is to that. So we'll have to go in the truck and go through the process of priming it. Okay, we got both our fuel filters changed. Now there's a process to priming these. What you do is you cycle the key six times for 30 seconds each. And that will prime the lower filter and the upper filter and it'll keep it from having a dry start. Okay, we're gonna let it run for a minute. Get out and check, make sure there's no leaks underneath. Everything looks good underneath. The filter area is dry, the transmission area, and the oil filter area is dry. And that's how you change the fuel filter in your 250 Super Duty diesel. Thank you very much for watching.